Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're going to roast an acorn squash without oil. Now the first thing you need to do is cut it in half and what I did was I sat it upright on the stem end and I took my knife down from the point down. As you can tell, I did not exactly cut it evenly. These are not the easiest things to cut. But anyway, it will still work out. And then you take a spoon and you scrape the seeds out of the inside. And then you can use these to stuff or whatever you want to do after they are roasted. In the meantime, my oven is preheating, you heard it beep just a second ago, to 400 degrees. And we are going to roast this without oil. Okay, I have a rimmed baking sheet here and I have lined it with some parchment paper. And that's the easiest way to do this. And then you just turn it cut side down on your parchment paper and put it in the oven. Just like that. It's that simple. You can do this without the parchment paper. And what you need to do is put it in the oven at your 400 degrees and after about 15 minutes or so, go in and just move those halves around because at that point they're going to be starting to stick. And you don't want them to stick, you know, there's no oil here. So if you just move them around just a little bit at that point, it will loosen them back up and they should be okay the rest of the time when you roast them where they should not stick because winter squash will release some juices as it roasts and once you get them unstuck initially that juice will help to keep them from sticking thereafter. Now obviously this size is this one is bigger than this one so this one's going to take longer to roast but I'll let you know how long it's in the oven. Now I set my timer for 30 minutes and when I checked with the knife, you run in, they, were, they were in the oven upside down and you run a knife in there. And when it goes in easily, then you know they are roasted. And actually, the knife went in both right at 30 minutes. So, uh, this one may have actually cooked a little bit faster than that since it's smaller. But nevertheless, I declared them both done at 30 minutes into time at 400 degrees Fahrenheit no added oil was needed whatsoever. And now at this point you could eat them like they are, you could stuff them, you could scrape the pulp out and use it any way that you want to use acorn squash. As you can see you can easily roast acorn squash without any added oil. I will have directions below in the description box. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I hope this helps. Bye for now.